Hello everyone, welcome back to another exciting After Effects tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll show you how I created this animation from scratch. So without further ado, let's dive into After Effects. First things first, let's create a new composition. I set the width and height to 1080 pixels and the frame rate to 60. Now, I select the rectangle tool and change the fill color to red. Then, I'll double click on this icon to make a square. Next, I quickly rename this layer as background and lock this layer. After that, I go to the shape builder tool, but this time I select the ellipse tool. Now, when I double click on this icon, it will create a perfect circle. Let me change the color of this circle to black. Then, I resize the circle and rename this layer as Big Circle. After that, I lock this layer as well. Once again, I go to the Shape Builder tool and make another circle. I resize this circle and change the color so it's easier to see. Now, I turn on the Safe Area Margin Guideline and change the position of the circle like this. Make sure the bottom part of the circle touches the center of the composition. Also, I ensure the anchor point is placed at the bottom of this circle so I can adjust the size of the circle easily. This way, if I rotate the circle, it will rotate perfectly under the big black circle. Alright, I'll quickly rename this layer as inner circle. Next, I select the pen tool to make a line. I create a line and make sure the length of the line matches the height of the circle. Then I increase the stroke width to 7 pixels and remove the fill. After that, I adjust the anchor point of this line and place it at the bottom of the line. I also change the position of the line like this, so the bottom part of the line touches the center of the circle. Let me rename this layer as Line. Now, I select the Ellipse tool, set the fill to Solid. Choose a light color and remove the stroke. Then, I create a small circle here and carefully place it at the top of the line. I rename this layer as Dot. Alright, I've set up the overall design. Let's parent the layers now. First, I select the Dot layer and parent it to the Line layer. Then, I select the Line layer and parent it to the Inner Circle layer. Now, I open the rotation properties of the inner circle layer. Then hold Alt on the keyboard and click on the stopwatch to open the script panel. I write the expression, time asterisk 400. Then I click anywhere to confirm it. Next, I open the rotation properties of the line layer. Again, I hold Alt and click the stopwatch to open the script panel. This time, I write the expression to rotate it in the negative direction. Time asterisk dash 600. Then I click anywhere to confirm it. Let's check the animation. Nice. It's looking good so far. Let's make the line trail. To add a trail effect, I first select the dot layer and go to the effects panel. Then I search for an effect called echo and apply it to the layer. Then I go to the effects control panel and adjust the following settings. Echo time, 0 0.0007, number of echoes, 160. Let's check the animation. It's already looking good, but I'll tweak it a bit more. I change the echo time to negative 0 0.0012. Increase the number of echoes to 200. Now check the RAM preview. The animation looks fantastic. You can adjust the number of echoes to make the line longer or shorter based on your preference. Let's see how I make different shapes with this line. Actually, it's very simple. You just need to change inner circle rotation value. For example, I change this value to 500. And the shape of green line is changed to spiral. Just change the value and experiment by yourself. And that's how I created this animation in After Effects. If you enjoyed this tutorial, do support my channel. The support link is in the description below. 
Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.